button. No, you're and not. that's and that's it. We're in. We're live. Hello. Are we? Yeah, we are live. My name's Ben. Your phone. <laughs> uh, then I'm Gabby. Yeah. I'm. I am Jeff. And we're gonna go talk about it. And we're gonna we're gonna go shit on some news. So let's see. What is um. What is a terrible place to get your news from 24-7? Like... Literally <laughs> half of our news sources. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's true. But what's the first one that comes to your head when I say terrible news source? Us. Okay. Well, besides <laughs> yeah. us... Well, we're, we're, <laughs> we're sourcing it from other terrible places, right? But, I mean, that not that, like, kind of what a lot of places do anyways that's true but you know, we're different wrong, because right? our goal is not to report the truth it's, it's just to, to be go as funny and shit on possible. the truth yeah. because the truth is overrated oh i should bet i should make that disclaimer that nothing said on this podcast should ever be taken seriously and with so that, since one of the one of the people was playing monster hunter as he is a. Uh, <laughs> nice job. As he's talking. Nice job. Well, we're gonna go into our good old Fox News. That's always a good source of like pseudo truth. Half the time. So Fox News and CNN. Fox, Fox News, News and CNN. CNN. Yeah. Let's see. Buzzfeed. Ooh, Buzzfeed. Actually. Oh, Buzzfeed's horrible. Oh, Buzz. Buzzfeed. Oh yeah, that's right. They technically have a, a news section. Gosh. Yeah, I mean, that's technically. Yeah, we've been starting with Fox News too much. It's time to go. It's time to go to BuzzFeed. Oh my god. Old reliable. <laughs> Fox, News, Fox News and CNN are just old reliables. Mm. Old reliables. What now? Let's see. Um, hmm. What? Okay. Okay. This <laughs> okay. So just, just, we're gonna do. I, I, I like the way we've been doing it. I just say the headline. And then we start from there. So the headline for this, the headline for this is scammers are threatening to reveal cheating husbands unless they get paid thousands in Bitcoin. Uh, big mood. <laughs> Sorry, that's not a big mood. Um, <laughs> that's kind of hilarious. I think that's pretty great. Like, like, what, what, what is that situation like? Like, no, no. Imagine just like somebody. Like their windows has a virus on it and they get like a scam and they get a scam and they're like, Oh, it's probably gonna be your normal Indian tech scammer and then they're just like and then like instead of saying hello, can you can you go to teamviewer.com so I can take control of your computer? You get on the phone, you're like, Well, I've got a virus on my computer and they're like, Well, okay, sir. Uh I know your secrets. <laughs> I know everything. Now yeah, give me some Bitcoin. <laughs> I mean, it's smart that he said Bitcoin, because that, I mean, it has been not as good uh, as, like, before, but, dude, fucking people have made a mint on that shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One of my I friend's mean, brothers is, uh, he invested in it a while ago, and he's, like, pretty successful. <laughs> he's, he's pretty with successful. The amount. Uh -huh. Very nice. He's, okay, so and, like, I think he still has stock in it, but he invested uh, when he was in. Is it like is it high stock? School? Would that te is that technically stock or is that just? I, I mean, I think technically. Okay. I mean, you can invest and then you like hold the place and then when you earn the money whenever you sell your stock. I think that's. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. yeah. I don't know how investing works. I'm gonna be broke. <laughs> okay. Well. well you, know, you essentially got it right, I think. Okay. Yeah, sure, yeah, and, sure. Probably. I don't know. Sure. Well, well, it, well, yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's let's actually get into this article now. Okay. So let's see. It says scammers are sending letters threatening to reveal cheating husbands to their wives unless they transfer them thousands of dollars in Bitcoin. Hi, so, Pete. That's pretty smart. So like, so here's here's a random intro to a letter. Here. The thing hey. is, oh my god, it's perfect. It was first received by a man named Jeff Stroll. So, so it goes like this: <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, this is targeting you. Okay. Hello, Jeffrey. I'm going to cut to the chase. 
My name is Gray Square 15, <laughs> and I know about the secrets you are keeping from your wife and everyone else. More importantly, I have evidence of what you have been hiding. I won't go into the specifics here, in case your wife intercepts this, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, the thing is, I probably would have already hung up, like, the very instant... No, it's a letter, it's a letter, so you can't hang oh, it's up. it's a letter. It's a letter, oh, yes. Awesome. See, I don't read the... <laughs> <laughs> so it's a letter, not, like, even an email? Cause if it yeah, it's email... a... No, it's just a letter. It's a straight-up <laughs> letter. And, but but he's they still use like their screen name, Gray Gray oh, Square like Fifteen, like at. Just like imagine like you go to you go to like a meeting spot to pay up, and then it's just a man that just has a squirt that just has a block on their head like they're from Minecraft. It's just a gray block. It's just like hello, I'm Gray Square Fifteen. Do you have the goods? Do you have that? Bitcoin, motherfucker. Bitcoin. And then you, I, I mean, like, what, what do you do? What do you do? You go to the meeting spot, and it's just a man that's wearing a gray square on their face. He just has a Bitcoin <laughs> ATM in the corner. And and, and he, oh, no, yeah, he, yeah. he just brought it along with him. He has like a little red wagon. It's just a B Bitcoin ATM, and it's plugged into a little generator that's like right behind it on the wagon, and he's just sitting out there in the middle. In like uh, I don't know, it's either like a dumpster or a dark alley or like the public park, and then he's just kind of standing there and oh he's got gosh, like. Oh my gosh! I found my protractor. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for this for years. <laughs> How long have you lost this protractor? Years. I tried to find it last year and I couldn't find it. Okay, sorry, I'm interrupting. What? Uh, continue. Oh my god, no, no. But then imagine like, he he just walks up to you and he's like, "All right, so." I've started a new Bitcoin. It's called Protractor Coin. Now then, you're gonna have to give me all of your protractors, and it's gonna have to amount to about fifteen thousand dollars, and then mm -hmm. your secret stays secret. But if you don't, you know what's gonna happen, mate. I'm gonna get your ass. I mean, I've got the protractor, the Protractor Coin AP ATM right here. You're gonna have to pay up, my dude. And and like and it's like and it's like there's competing scams. So you've got gray square fifteen, uh, blue circle number forty five. Uh, you got you got lines green, lines twenty two. No, you've got green triangle forty two. Now green triangle forty two. He's the best, cause everybody knows uh, forty two is the answer to the universe, right? Oh, so, it is. It is. So so green triangle forty two. They've got it going on. Okay. They've actually, they've created their own Bitcoin, but it's also called Bitcoin. And so, he, he just Bitcoin. pranks them super hard, and he's like, I'm gonna need you to buy me one Bitcoin. And they're like, oh, that's easy, I can buy one Bitcoin, because it, it's, not, it's not super inflated. And then they walk in, and he's like, aha, I've got you! It's not real Bitcoin, it's my Bitcoin, and my Bitcoin, it costs millions! And... And he's just the most successful scammer of them all. He gets them every time. Every time, yep. Even if they're yeah. not cheating on their wives. They're just so scared. <laughs> You're still cheating on your wives. It's like, Got it. even if they're not cheating on their wives. You're gay. You're still <laughs> cheating on your wife. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. They're just, like, even, like, even if they're just, like, super gay... Like, they've got a husband, mm -hmm. and then they get a letter, it's like, if you don't pay my Bitcoin for cheating on your wife, I'm gonna expose you. Yeah. And it's just like, I mean, what what can you do? He's just, his letters are so intimidating, it gets you every single time. Every single time. Easy. <laughs> and this, this is apparently similar... To, to letters sent to people that used Ashley Madison. Like, in 2015, like, the same thing happened, but here's the thing. Like, I mean, Ashley Madison is his website specifically for cheating. So, I mean, at that point, you're kind of asking for it. Like, these scammers are brave, okay? They don't even know if the person's cheating or not. Right? Mm -hmm. They're just sending in a letter going, like, I hope they're cheating. And maybe I'll get some money. 
As in, like, in 2015, they hacked Ashley Madison. Everybody on there is cheating. That's the whole point of the website. <laughs> right. So it's just... So, like, before, like, they had they had a reason. You know, they had backing to their threats. This time, they're just sending it. And they're counting on human nature to just take care of the rest of it. That's all, that's all it is. They're just counting on the fact that most people are dissatisfied with both their relationships and their marriages in order to scam wow, some money. <laughs> God, don't be... This isn't supposed to be real! Ben! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it, it wasn't really real. For the past ten, for the past I think like five minutes, I was talking about a green triangle forty two scamming you out of your money by a fake Bitcoin. Dude, I think wait, I'm gonna look. I, I think I've taken it. I've taken it fairly far, right? Forty two. Yeah. So oh, I just dropped all of my binder clips. Ah. <sighs> oh. This is nice. Find the protractor, drop the binder clips. It's a... But the funny thing is, like, 15,750 mm -hmm. in Bitcoin is, like, what, one Bitcoin? How much uh, is a Bitcoin right now? I don't know how much Bitcoin is right now. I have now. no idea. I'm looking at the Bitcoin, Bitcoin exchange. Okay, it's, it's like, two Bitcoin. <laughs> because it's currently one Bitcoin equals $6,320. Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> People mine that. Oh, did you hear about, uh... The, the scam with Steam, where there's, there's that game that was using people's computers for Bitcoin mining. <laughs> really? For, yeah. That's so it, it was like, there was like, there was like an update to the game, and there was malware in it. Which game? It was some, like, platformer or something. It's, it's gotten removed, obviously. It's hilarious. No, just, just, just imagine, like, they added that to League of Legends, right? And like you're just playing your ranked promos, you're like, dude, I gotta, I gotta climb my way out of bronze five. I need to stop being in the bottom of the bottom. And then all of the servers are instantly shut down because of an FBI investigation. And you lose the one promo you needed to get ranked up. And it was because they were mining Bitcoin from your laptop the entire time. Like... Just imagine, like, 48 hours into your ranked grinding session, okay? Right. And you've been mining Bitcoin this entire time. You've, you've made somebody, like, $2,000. You've made somebody else $2,000. And all you've ever wanted was to just stop being a shitlord. And then the servers get shut down by the FBI. I mean, I'm pretty sure you would notice. Because, I mean, like, maybe. It's, it's, not like, it's not like crypto mining is, like... That's true. It does take like a lot of power. It takes li most of your computer, most of your GPU. No, but which this is guy... why people were confused. Is like it's this platformer that's a box, and it's not even that good. <laughs> why is it taking up ninety percent of my GPU? <laughs> You're just I'm like, like nodding along. I don't know what you guys are talking. About. Okay, so like, just like, just like, imagine you're just fucking playing Mario, right? And you're jumping around. You're having a good not time. Not even, not even Mario. The first like side scroller Mario. No, no, like, not even. Actually, no, not even that. Imagine you're playing a square. You're playing as Gray Square Fifteen in his very <laughs> own platformer. Okay. Uh -huh. And the entire goal is to press the space bar one million times, and then you just win the game. And it just makes the little square jump every time you press it. And then while what? you're pressing it. <laughs> Your computer slows down to a crawl, your YouTube stops working, like everything is dying and you're just like, why? I just, I'm just pressing a space bar and making this gray square 15 a uh, jump, just jump every single time. I'm just trying to hit a million, dude. Why, why is everything dying? What the hell is happening? And all the while, gray square 15, the real one, the, the one with the gray square in his head, he's just sitting back relaxing while... You know, five million people are mining Bitcoin for him, and he's just pranked them so hard. Cause, you know, his after Green Triangle Forty Two just dominated the cheating letter scam market. Gray Square Fifteen mm -hmm. had to find something else. Okay, so this is what he tried. This is what he tries, and that and that's essentially what they tried to do. They just tried to prank people by getting them to buy a shitty game, and then mine Bitcoin for them.
Because you know okay. why not? Okay. <laughs> and, and yeah, and mining Bit Bitcoin's a thing. Like that's how the market works. It's really weird. It's also it's why cool. the uh, GPU market was uh, <laughs> uh -huh. getting destroyed for a while. Because like people were just buying twenty GPUs just to mine Bitcoin. It's like, <laughs> huh? Mhm. Mm Makes sense. There is a of. website called themorningnews.org. I'm going to try to see if there are any headlines on here. Oh my god. There are not. Wait, wait, what? What in the fuck? What? God. Hmm. All right, so let's find our next, our next news. Um, next news. News story. The Daily Caller. I remember this is a thing. Daily Caller. The Daily Caller. It's like, it's like Breitbart. I hear, but not, but it's not Breitbart. Okay. So <laughs> it, we should we should be pretty good on some random conservative stuff. Oh wait, oh wait, wait, wait. Actually no, I remember this. Wait, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, hold up. Oh, Th no. This is not conservative. This is actually just a really funny ass news story. So <laughs> this is the headline. I remember watching a video on this. It's so dumb. I can't believe this happened, but at the same time, we live in America. So, can't believe you've done this. So, you know, cu country roads take me home to the oh, place yeah. I belong, West Virginia, right? Go to West Virginia's Supreme Court is so corrupt, every single judge is currently facing impeachment charges. Really? <laughs> so, so now the prompt before we get in, what do you think they did? <laughs> <laughs> What did what mm. did the Supreme Court justices do that every single one of them is currently facing impeachment? But they they believe that the Fallout seventy six being its own uh, own game without it using any sort of platform was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that I do remember that as well. For the non video gamer, Bethesda basically went like Steam. What's that? I don't know. I have to make my <laughs> own thing. And so that's what Fallout 76 they're will They're not be. even making their own thing. It's like... No, 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 but just like its own launcher. Just It's it's like you're playing some kind of shitty game that was created in Korea or some or random Minecraft. anime MMO that requires you to have its own launcher and it's really annoying. But now it's going to be for Fallout 76. But that that is something else entirely. That's something else entirely. What What did the Supreme <laughs> Court do? That, that every justice on it is about to get their ass what? slapped out of here. I actually it, it, can't it, think of anything. It, like, because I have it no can't idea. be something that's like obviously dumb. Like it, it mm -hmm. has to be something where like maybe some of them didn't quite know, just like right offhand, because of the fact that it's just like Are you others were doing it. Judge. <laughs> Wait, what? What did they do? Like cough at the same time? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, let me let let let's get into it. So, first off, so that five justices sit on the state Supreme Court in West Virginia. Okay, and so, uh, one of them had already, I believe, had already left because he had already violated the state ethics code, and there was a thirty-two count complaint against him. He didn't, he's been indicted for fraud, witness tampering, and false statements to investigators. Um, uh, I see where this is going. Uh, let's see. Well, actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's go from the very top. So the fifth justice, Menace Ketchum, retired in late July. He blasted on out of there. Ketchum, uh, what is it? Um, yeah, so he will, he, he that, that's what, that's what I just talked about, I'm dumb, he's gonna plead guilty to two federal corruption charges on August 29th, Lowry, Alan Lowry, was, uh, was the guy with the 32 count complaint, and the other three 
face impeachment for wasting government resources and failing to administer the state courts. And because all three of them uh, spent large sums of taxpayer dollars on lavish improvements to their chambers in the state capitol, counting Mm -hmm. up to about $750,000, and abuse state travel resources. I honestly Mm. thought it'd be like if they're stealing paper clips or something. (laughs) I mean... (laughs) I mean, you don't know. That could have been a part of it. They just said they used Mm -hmm. taxpayer money. They didn't say in what way. It's so funny because normally the Constitution says that the Chief Justice provides over impeachment trials, but all of the justices are, are are on the docket for impeachment. So they had to appoint... A lower circuit county judge <laughs> in order in order to impeach this is, themselves this is what they bought this is they bought like a hundred of these or something like that what did they buy <laughs> oh they bought a hundred paper clips <laughs> is it no not just paper clips giant paper clips. oh my god mm, they just bought hundreds of like clips. like the, the this is the lavish improvements to their office right they just get 500 massive paper clips it's their new wallpaper there's so many of mm-hmm. them Right, and the people like walk into the office, go like, "What the fuck did you do to your wallpaper?" And like, and then like the justice kind of just sits back in their massive fucking arm. No, they sit back in like you, you know the An show. An arm the voice? It's, it's like it's like Game of no, Thrones. No, 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 no. Arm not chair. even that. Not even that. You know the show, The Voice. Made of paper. Clips. Oh, The Voice. The Voice with like the massive <laughs> oh red God. and black rotating chairs. Mm-hmm. They're just like leaning back in one of those, and they just like turn around. And they're like, yo, what's up? You like my new wallpaper? And, like, mm-hmm. their desk just has, like, a shark inside of it. It's a massive desk. There's just, like, an actual shark tank. And then, <laughs> and like, yeah. and, then they, and then they literally, like, they got so many improvements to the office. They just, they just snap their hands. And, like, a robotic arm carrying a Diet Coke just, like, extends from the ceiling and hands it to them. And goes, like, it's... Yo, what's up, dude? Check out my office. It's pretty neat, right? <sighs> and, like, they didn't even open the Diet Coke. It was opened by the robotic arm. And they're just sitting in their massive chair behind their shark tank of a desk with, like, a paper clip wallpapered office. And, the, and then, like, the person's like, so, so where'd you get the money for all this? And it's like, I can't tell you. <sighs> Yeah. But hey, me. I mean, and, hey, and then his bud, his bud walks in. He's got like a gold like planet <laughs> jacket or something like that. Just, no, no. What, no. what do they wear in West Virginia? What's like the thing? Uh, no, it... no. But these are judges. So like, like what, another judge walks in from another office, right? He's just wearing like, like you know your normal judges' outfits and stuff. He's wearing an yeah. all gold mm-hmm. version of that, down to the wig. Yeah. The wig is like gold strands of hair, right? Gold. <laughs> and he's just holding like a solid with, with gold like with gown. like diamond tips at the end. <laughs> yeah, with like diamond tips. And he's just like whole. I mean, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we're like overstating this because they only did steal like seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Well, that's a lot of money. For Only seven hundred fifty thousand dollars taxpayer money. Like that—that that is a lot of money, but it's probably not gonna be able to cover you for a full gold outfit. But you know what? Yeah. We can believe. This is <laughs> we fake. Can believe. This is you fake know what? News. Maybe they had connections. You don't. They know. had connections. If man. they did, if they did one bad thing, doesn't mean they're not gonna do another bad thing. I mean, it's like the time there. I remember watching a video. Uh, it was the video was from a guy named Leonard French, which is also where I, I first heard about this. He's a cool lawyer dude on YouTube, Leonard French, and there was a judge that was literally taking cocaine out of the evidence locker or or some drug, and then he was getting imp- and he was getting indicted on it. It's just so hilarious. Like he, like he was overseeing the the drug usage trial for somebody that was using cocaine. At the same time, he's just stealing the dude's cocaine from the evidence locker. God. Like just some... Did he use it? As he yes, he used it. Oh my like, god. But like, imagine, like, like everybody's in the courtroom, they're waiting, like, where the fuck is the judge? Jesus fucking Christ, he's so fucking late. And then, just, just like, busting, there's like, 
His his eyes are like almost rolled up. They're super red. There's like powder on his lip. He's like, hey, what up, dudes? All right, let's get this trial on the road. Oh, oh, yeah, fuck, that's I good. I don't know if that's <laughs> how people on cocaine. <laughs> I don't know. Exactly I have no that. idea. <laughs> I have no. I don't do drugs. Or maybe he just he just like busts in and he's like, "Fuck, dude! Fucking aliens are coming to get us!" But you know what? Got the Fucking aliens! In it. That's we LSD, got... man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what cocaine. Is. Actually, you know what? Let's look it up. What does cocaine actually do to you? What does? Bro, you're gonna be put on a watch list. <laughs> I'm. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? I'm on a watch list now. We're all okay. Everyone's on a watch list. Okay. Okay. Something. What does it do? Loss of yeah. contact with reality and intense feeling of happiness or agitation. So I mean, like he just busts so in the door. So he's gonna eat some people's faces. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, he busts into funny. the door, and to him, the trial is entirely consisted of food. Like, and he just sits down. And it's like, all right, defendant. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna have to make your uh, you're gonna have to make your defense on why I shouldn't eat you. You look like a fairly tasty slice of pizza. Oh, oh yeah, fuck, that's, that's good. exactly how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then they're like, <laughs> uh, right Your Honor, have you have you did you take the cocaine out of the evidence locker? You're like, what? No, 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 no. He starts bleeding from his nose. No, Attorney Broccoli, you're you're getting this all wrong. And then he just gets out. Of, he just lines it. Covered. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's like it's like a, it's just a flower explosion. Yeah. Like <laughs> no. Sorry, good uh, powdered donuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just it's just powdered donuts, uh. dude. No, one of your colleagues was a powdered donut. I just ate him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, like, gets out some more, and he uses his gavel to crush it up. And then, like, mm -hmm. light it up, and just gets on his shoulder, and just like... <sighs> Wait, are we talking about co cocaine or crack? What are we talking about? It, it's, it's, it's the same thing, isn't it? Crack. It's the same thing, but, like, are you talking about the sniffing one or the one oh that my you, gosh. like, breathe in? I hear fireworks. Are you kidding me? What? The, why do you, I actually hear fireworks. Where? Where? Stop. <laughs> okay, no crack. I do too. Okay. Crack cocaine is smoked. Why are there fireworks? It's I don't know. It's Who August. It's August. <laughs> Who knows, oh, dude? Man. People just get really excited. They're too excited. That or it, it might be something else, but I'm not, I'm gonna pray it's fireworks. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna say it's fireworks. Yeah, it's fireworks. We're gonna go with that. It's that's it. But, I mean, like yeah, you know what, Gabby? Um, whenever no, you wake up in the morning, there's like three different things. <laughs> Whenever you wake up in the mm -hmm. morning, Gabby, and you just look out the window, and there's blood leaking out of one of the house's front doors, nope. you, you, you'll you know nope. what happened. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be It was fine. a prank! <laughs> it's a prank! <laughs> okay. You know what? You know what you I hear? You just got charts. I don't know. I don't know. What was, what was it? Uh, there was, like, um... some TV show. It was, like, they didn't say you got pranked. You got, like... Slammed or on us. I, I have no idea. <laughs> Nickelodeon who? <laughs> Nickelodeon goo. <laughs> um, that green goo probably thing. feels amazing. I'm gonna be honest. Well, today marks the one year anniversary. I don't know why. Of the day oh wait. Protests. I just think it. I think it probably feels amazing. Okay, so so here's here is a here's the article from the Huffington Post on how the police had to escort um the neo-nazis for their rally i think it was today or yesterday oh in charlottesville yeah, oh yeah but they couldn't do it in charlottesville because virginia declared a state of emergency and charlottesville told them to fuck off so they yeah. went to they went to washington dc and so the headline for this is a couple dozen neo-nazis got the red carpet treatment from dc law enforcement red carpet treatment like just imagine that <laughs> Oh gosh, this is going to be terrible. But like, just to, just imagine. So before everybody else's thoughts, I just want to put this image in your head. Just like a fucking forties, like Ford or some shit. Just like rolls down, and then like all the police officers got their like riot shields and they're like facing all the protesters, and then just like fucking three Hitler impersonators just like get out of the car, and they're like, hey, see hell, and they're in like full regalia, right? full uniform and he's walking down the red carpet and it's like a real red carpet right 
they walk like them down the red carpet, <laughs> all the way down to the Dusting stage. <laughs> and then they get on, and it's like, ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, fellow haters. Yes, that's right. Yes, thank you. I'll kiss your baby later. I hate the Jews too. You're amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, hi. <laughs> Oh. And and as they're walking oh. by, the few people that aren't the protesters are just like they're either saluting what? because they're ultra American or they're doing the sig hail because they're ultra Nazi. I either one works at this point. Okay. Wait. <laughs> no, I, either one really works. I mean, the sig hail is for the Nazis, but if they're also ultra patriotic, then instead they'll just do a salute and then they're just and they just and like the celebrities. The celebrity Nazis are just walking down the red carpet, and then they they get in their mics. They're like, <laughs> "Okay, okay, all right, guys. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna get this unite the right rally uh, to a head start. Or, or you know what? That that's not even fair to the right. The right aren't Nazis. That's just not fair to the to the right political spectrum. We're gonna call it unite unite the neos." <laughs> Unite, Unite the, the neos. neos. So, 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 like the first That's speaker perfect. comes up, they're just like, "All right, everybody, hello, welcome to Unite the Neos." Uh, today we're hey, gonna you've be. You've heard of United Nations now. <laughs> you've heard United Nations it's now. The UN. United Neos. <laughs> no, welcome to the United Neos. Just ones and zeros just start dropping from the sky. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! And then. And no, no, and so the first speaker comes like, all right, today we're here, we're here to discuss, uh, we're here to discuss our methods of recruitment, as well as discuss our plans of action moving forward as a neo-Nazi group. So first off, we're going to affirm, uh, as neo-Nazis, we're going to say that we hate all of the Jews, um, especially, uh, but also, we also hate everybody that's not super white. If they're kind of white, they kind of count, but they're going to be segregated anyway. If they're not white, they're instantly terrible. We hate them as much as the Jews. And uh, I think, what else do we have to do before we start this? Ah, uh, yes, uh, we affirm that Donald Trump is the best president we've ever had. And uh, I don't even think they would think. I like. Or, or what was it with like? Not, it was like it was uh, it was the Aryan race, right? Or, oh yeah, like the Aryan race. So, so it's just like, and I, we're going to have to affirm that if you've got blonde hair, blue eyes, you're a natural born American, you are the very best and you have the highest voice. If you got brown hair, you can go shit on yourself. You can go outside and get some hot dogs for us because we don't care about your opinion. I don't even care if you have blue eyes. It's the blonde hair at this point. So just get on, get on out of here. We don't care about your kind. We don't care about any of your kind except if you're like us. All right. All right. I, like I mean, I'm not gonna say I don't agree with how they did it, but blue eyes do look pretty good. <laughs> I mean, okay, like. Okay, here's the thing: brown-haired people with blue eyes look amazing. They yeah, do. no, they look they amazing. Look I don't know why he's blonde hair. Blonde hair. It, why was it not like brunette? Like, fuck <laughs> it. Right. All right. So, so now that we've got our wonderful image of. You, or you know, I don't even want to get into this article. I just want to see how long I can bullshit being a neo-Nazi on a podium. Actually, we're gonna keep no. this going. <laughs> no, but like, I, I just want to talk about hair now. It's like, <laughs> just talk about it. I can't yes. like. No, no, no. Hair is nice, but like, I, I definitely am for like. No, no, no. and then like most of the people in the room have brown hair. They're like, Oli, what do you have against brown hair? I don't know why I have like a pseudo Australian accent this entire time. It doesn't make sense, but that's okay. What? Why are you hating on brown hair? We're most of the people in this room. Maybe it should be brown hair and blue eyes. What did you think about that? And like the one speaker that has blonde hair and blue eyes, like looks at the other three that have brown hair and blue eyes. One of them has brown eyes as well. And then and then mm -hmm. he's like, well, ah, uh, we kind of, I mean. We stole it from from the old Nazis, but I mean, I guess we can change it to fit <laughs> our purposes. Because, because I mean, really, we just hate everybody <laughs> that isn't us. So, <laughs> so if we are brown hair now, I guess we just gotta change that. Uh, all in favor of changing it so that if you're basically white and you're a part of us, you're a Nazi, and we can hate everybody else. Uh, say aye. 
I, 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 nay! Waffles. Uh, waffles. <laughs> you just sound like the seagulls from <laughs> The seagulls from Finding <laughs> You. No, it's like, oh, hey, who said nay? I said nay! You, Get you new neo-Nazis, you forget the old Nazi movement. You don't keep up with the old traditions anymore. We don't bash in Jews' windows anymore. We don't set people on fire. We're not doing mass jet. What are we even doing with ourselves? This new movement is absolutely terrible. I can't believe I'm still a part of this. I'm leaving to go join the alt left. You can all go screw yourselves. And then uh, that one he's, guy. Just... He's just someone that's just an extremist. He doesn't care. And he just what walks like. out of the room. And in just like into the protest, he's like, "Yo, what's up? I want to join you. What What are your beliefs? Honestly, I'm sick of these people. They don't it's keep up with red, the old traditions. All red and yellow, their sickles and <laughs> <laughs> everything. <laughs> and oh yeah, he, he just no, he joins the communists. Yeah, that's it. And then like and then like most of the protesters just kind of back away from him. But one man is just like, "Oh, my comrade." Come join the revolution! And he just sends him a sickle. He goes like, "Join us, join us in glory." And he's like, "Yes, this is my kind." <laughs> uh, and then, and, and then, like the, the speaker, it doesn't matter who you are. <laughs> yeah, and, and then the and the speakers are still on the stage. It's kind of awkwardly standing there, like, "Well, I mean, I guess that happened, but I think the vote passed. We're all going to be, as long as we're white." And we all hate everybody else. We'll call ourselves Nazis. Agreed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. Very nice. Uh, next up, uh, who are we going to hate on first today? Um, now then, the Jews are the old ones. But since we're in America and recently, I mean, we can just hate on African Americans all day. We can hate on oh those some God. bitches all day. I mean, that's the new. That's the new thing. And then, and then, like every, and then it's just like, oh, right, everybody, raise your hand if you want to go hate on the Jews first. And it's like, you know, a couple of the old guard, like, like twenty of them raise their hands, and it's like, and then it's like, oh, okay, now who, who, now how, who wants to go hate on some African Americans? And then another speaker's like, oh wait, wait, we can just hate on the entire left in general. We can call them communist yeah, dictators. No, just, everybody. just everybody else. And then everybody's like, oh, you know what? I like that idea. I don't even have to care. I can just hate everybody. Ah, yes, that's perfect. All right, everybody's terrible. They're destroying the purity of our human race. They're taking all of our money. They run all the banks. They're the reasons that we signed into terrible interest deals that take all of our money on loans. This is, yeah. And there you go. That's your top quality, high brass, you know, easy neo-Nazi rally in a nutshell. That's that's clearly how it goes. <laughs> that's exactly it. That's exactly how it goes. Yeah. You know, live report. This this is a live recreation on the spot. There's mm. one going on right outside my house. I'm just <laughs> I'm just narrating it as it happens. That's just how it happened. You right. know? I, I can oh, see the red carpet. Really it's funny. like two streets down, guys. I mean, that's just that's that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Oh my god, this was an interesting one today. <laughs> 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 this is really great. I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> oh my right gosh. <sighs> so dumb. <sighs> oh man. <laughs> this is great. Also, I love how, like, recently, like, whenever there's, like, a rally of all this stuff, like, there's more people protesting against the neo Nazis. Then there are neo Nazis. Like every time. Yeah. There's just more people that are like, I'm not racist. I mean, I'd hope that there aren't that many. That's that's very true. But. Mm. <laughs> I mean, they already lost. I, I don't want them to hear you here again. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you already lost back 50 years ago. Who remembers 50 <laughs> years ago? I don't care. We're bringing it back. All you hipsters are bringing back vinyl. We're going to bring back Nazis. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, vinyl. So terrible. Oh, man. So bad. This was a bad one. <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> I mean, I'm going to say it... It's been fun trying to just imagine what that would be like. As a non-racist, it's hard to just 
think of how a racist thinks. I I've been trying to like put myself into like people's shoes and like see people from, like, from other perspectives. Yeah, I just, but I just I can't. Like well, I can generally do it. It, it kind of depends. It, like, yeah, it depends on what perspective it, depends it is. Depends on like what perspective I'm looking at. Because right. there's like different ways for it to happen. It could be that you yeah. genuinely did have a bad experience with. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I can, I can and, see that, but I don't understand how they then take it out on everyone from that. They're, they're general. Well, because it wasn't just like a singular person. It's probably like yeah. they were in this area, and it just it kept happening, and it kept being these. I mean, look. Time. I mean, I'm an I'm an Asian kid in like Southern Texas. Like, it, it's not like they're like when I was growing up. I was in elementary school. People were bullying me all the time. They're like, aha. They, they use some kind of Asian stuff. I don't even remember. For some reason, one kid in like the third grade really knew his Asian slurs, and it just like propagated. But it's not like I'm now racist against all white people. I don't like mm-hmm. walk outside and say, "Damn you, white people." You fucking ruined my childhood. I just wanted to play ta- Pokemon. It probably takes more than like just elementary school. Yeah, yeah, I know I mean, that. I know, I know. But still, it's just hard to imagine. No. Yeah. Or you just kind of grow up with people who say this is kind of what it's like, and then that's true. That's true. You you don't have much knowledge about what else, but it's not. I mean, so All right, let's so. So that was some pretty horrifying stories. Not that stories I'm justifying that... it. No, so don't so... think I'm justifying. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, I'm just trying That's to get. Just... <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that. I'm try. I'm gonna get us to move on now. We're gonna try to find a nice story. I don't know. Let's go to, who knows, the Washington Post. You know, the place where the literal slogan on the website is "Democracy dies in darkness." I'm sure we'll find a nice story there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, entertainment news. Entertainment news. Oh my god. I think this should be the last one. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it's literally 10 o'clock. <laughs> um, is it actually 10 o'clock? It's 9.55. It's 9.55. Time. That's not literally ten o'clock then. Come on. Okay, here's the thing. No, that's fake no, news. It wrong. is literally you're ten wrong. o'clock. No, you're wrong, okay, Jeff. You're wrong. You're fake news. No, it's ten wrong. o'clock it's, right now. It's, it's not nine fifty five. Nine fifty five is ten wrong. o'clock. Okay. I don't need You're just no, you're just wrong. <laughs> this is called harassment. <laughs> This is this is harassment. It's called laziness, okay? You're just wrong. No, no, this is harassment. Okay, this is straight up I'm sexism, Jeff. No, we can right. get we Wait can get the alt left on you. We can get the alt left on you. We can get the feminazis to come I'm over here I'll and get you. you. <laughs> oh my god. They'll come and crucify you alive. Wait, I mean yeah, probably. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be much worth crucifying somebody that was dead. See, no, the thing is, the thing is, is you wouldn't have to say that I just did that. You would just have to say who I am. And then, then, then I'm on the cross. Like, that, that's just gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It, it'd be like that. <laughs> Sadly. I, that, I say that to too many things. It's, it's like a coping mechanism. <laughs> it'd be okay, like that. Okay, BuzzFeed News. <laughs> it'd be like that. What oh have gosh, you got? Okay, full circle. <laughs> yeah, we're coming full circle here with BuzzFeed news. Hey, find out what type of potato I am. That's a that's a quiz. Is that a quiz? <laughs> that's, yeah, probably. If I remember, that okay, actually, quiz. no. What kind of potato am I? Quiz. Let's see. This. It, BuzzFeed has good. it. What is your inner potato? That is what we're ending Yo. on today. Everybody has yeah, to take this quiz. Okay, Everybody has to take this quiz. That's what we're finding a dinosaur. On. Come on, I can't take the quiz. We finna. We finna. We gotta do this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go through it first. Okay. Pick a dog. Um. I don't know. Uh, oh, we're gonna pick dogs. the husky the, dog thing. The emu died. Pick a superpower. Dog. <laughs> oh, Doge. No, really. Doge, yeah. No. Wait, Doge died. Doge. I know. God. They died. <laughs> Terrible. I think I shed a single tear. God. I, I, I will shed many tears over the course of the okay. internet. Okay, superpower, <laughs> I'm gonna go with. 
um, immortality because then, then it doesn't matter. I can just develop these other superpowers scientifically because I have all of the time in the world. You know, that's not a bad way to think like about it. like the sun engulfs us. Uh, no, I'll I'll be able to find a way to wait, just wait, leave. What, which quiz are we taking? Because there's like three of them. No, what I sent the link yeah. into the Discord. Here's the thing. <laughs> I don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you pick must a take the superpower. Pick a dessert. I like brownies. Brownies are cool. Pick a Channing Tatum. What? Ooh, what? <laughs> there's just nine photos of Channing Tatum. <laughs> one of them has uh, a hat. We'll go with that one. <laughs> What's that's, your bad habit? Good. I'm not flushing the toilet. Wearing you a hat. The toilet. You're such a dick. Okay, um... Oh, what is cracking your gum? I don't even know. Using your phone at the table. We'll go with that. Why not? Choose... No, choose... Choose a 90s R&B songstress. How... Okay. What is this... How is this related to my inner potato? I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> I would think it'd be like... Bad that's habits... Okay. Like, what's your favorite? How do you habit? get your party on? I. I don't. <laughs> Taste it. I mean, apart. buy the food. Let's be honest. Or, yeah. or I guess if it's food. saying inner potato, it's not saying like, are you potato? Like that's the one you looked okay, up. Okay, this question: Where do babies oh, come from? So many good Somehow this is still related to finding my inner potato. Or where do babies come from? Obviously, from test tubes. There's come nine. On. No, oh, there's God. nine options. The cabbage patch. Buy my babies are us. Just a picture of Oprah. Outer space, they're clearly alien. The stork. The tunnel of love. Your mom. Um, <laughs> a picture of Seth Rogen. And you make them out of Play Doh. That, it's Play Doh, duh. I mean, I guess the most realistic option is the tunnel of I love. Know, I because, I mean, I'm sure somebody's gone impregnated into the tunnel of love at some point. And, oh, and with all of I those options. I probably a lot. I and wonder with, how often they have to clean that up. And with all of those options, I ended up being, um, I ended up being French fries. Ooh, French fries. That's not, that's not like a, that's, what kind of, are you like? Yeah, are you like sweet? I don't even know. Fries? It's just, it just said French fries. That's all it said. It's just like, your French fries. Your French French fries, chum. Nice job, real nice job there. Nice, good going. Alright. Just say your French yeah, fries, chum. I gotta go. You, got the you gotta go, yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. It is quite. It is about time. Alright. Well, I'm at. I'm at peace. See you. First to see chill. You. So I will see. So we'll see you later, Jeff. Okay, I'm like midway through the quiz. <laughs> okay, so before we sign off well, today, today marks the one year. Uh, mm -hmm. I do not need that. So today, well. well We'll let you finish up your quiz. It's just that, like, my laptop is slow. Thank you, like that. Feels bad. We'll just let you finish that up, and then we'll get it it's on. It's glitching. Okay, hold on. I think it might be the last question. No, there's one more question. This, okay, um... I really enjoy the advertisements or like the little ad <laughs> uh -huh. that kind of show up uh -huh. at the side. Uh -huh. Mine, I have one where it says 28 of the worst things that have ever happened to pasta. <laughs> Alright. Very nice. I got mashed potatoes. Uh, mashed potatoes are pretty great. It's like we're not even getting like actual types of potatoes. Yeah, we're just I, getting like the ways that you potatoes, cook potatoes. <laughs> so you're mashed I mean, potatoes. I'm French yeah. fries. I go with a burger. Uh, you go with some I steak. Go with Thanksgiving. And you go with Thanksgiving. And yeah, that's it. Nice. That's really it. It works out. Well, it was a nice time mm -hmm. talking today. I'm Ben. Mm -hmm. That's Gabby. The guy who left was Jeff. Nothing yeah. that was said on this show should ever be taken seriously, ever. If you do take it seriously, that's actually terrible. Um, you should see a th psychotherapist or whatever. Get that looked at. Have a nice yeah, day. Probably. Okay. Bye. Bye.